Hello, everyone. I am Jung Gong from Huawei. It is a great honor to share the 10G Pond Combo technology with you. Today, my sharing includes three parts. One, why the 10G Pond Combo technology is required. Two, technical principles of the 10G Pond Combo technology. Three, 10G Pond Combo technical planning and application suggestions. First, let's look at why the 10G Pond Combo technology is required. As we know, the g technology has been widely used in access networks. The typical networking is as follows. The network consists of g OLTs, ODN, and g ONTs. As customers require higher bandwidth, we need to introduce the 10 g technology. Then, the ITU-T recommends a technology that uses new WDM-1R and 10G GPON OLTs, which can coexist. In addition, new asymmetric and symmetric 10G GPON ONTs can be connected in real time. This technical solution has three disadvantages. First, new 10G PON OLTs are introduced to replace G PON OLTs. The G PON OLTs are discarded, wasting a lot of resources. Second, if new 10G PON OLTs coexist with G PON OLTs, additional cost overhead will be incurred. Third, WDM 1R occupies user space. Huawei provides a new combo technology. A 10 g PON OLT is connected to a new combo optical module. The combo optical module integrates the WDM1R function. In this way, you can replace the original g PON OLT, 10 g PON OLT, and WDM1R functions. No extra user space is occupied. In addition, it can be used in the same way as the original GPON. Next, let's see the technical principles of 10 GPON combo. The internal block diagram of a typical 10 GPON combo optical module is as follows. The GPON MAC chip and 10 GPON MAC chip are connected respectively to the GPON and 10 GPON transceiver modules and then aggregated to the WDM1R multiplexer as the OLT output. The user side consists of the ODN and ONTs, same as a traditional access network. The 10 g PON combo can connect three types of ONTs. g PON ONT, 10 g PON asymmetrical ONT, and 10 g PON symmetric ONT. As g PON and 10 g PON networks use different wavelengths, they coexist by using the WDM technology. In a g PON network, the 1310 nanometer wavelength is used in the upstream direction and the 1490 nanometer wavelength is used in the downstream direction. The same wavelengths are used for 10 g PON symmetric and asymmetrical modes. The 1270 nanometer wavelength is used in the upstream direction and the 1577 nanometer wavelength is used in the downstream direction. In this way, in the upstream direction, 10 g PON and g PON coexist by WDM and 10 g PON asymmetrical and symmetric modes coexist by time division. In the downstream direction, g PON and 10 g PON coexist by WDM. This is the basic technical principle of 10 g PON combo. Last, here are some suggestions on 10 g PON combo technology planning and application. We will talk about how a g PON network can evolve to a 10 g PON network. A typical g PON network consists of the g PON OLTs, ODN, 
and GPON ONTs. When the 10 GPON technology needs to be introduced, first introduce new 10 GPON combo boards and 10 GPON combo optical modules and replace the original GPON OLTs. Second, migrate data from original GPON OLTs to the current combo OLTs. Last, Deploy 10G PON symmetric and 10G PON asymmetric ONTs based on customer requirements. In this way, the customer's network can smoothly evolve from G PON to 10G PON. So much for today. Looking forward to your suggestions and comments.